Hey, what's going on guys? So I finally released my next Udemy course, which is modern HTML and CSS from the beginning and completely ignore this price right here. I'm going to put a promo link in the description for just $9.99. Uh, but basically, this is a 17 hour course that includes both learning sections and full projects and ranges from the absolute beginning of learning HTML5 up to Flexbox, the grid system, animation and so on. Uh, and I created this course in a way where it's beneficial to both people just getting into web development that don't know anything yet, as well as intermediate to advanced programmers that struggle with CSS. Because I've seen over and over, I've seen really talented programmers that can't center something on the page for the life of them. So this course will give you the tools that you need to stop using Bootstrap and you know other CSS frameworks and start building your own custom interfaces and, and custom websites. All right, so basically the first few sections are the absolute fundamentals. So you can see HTML basics, CSS basics. So from HTML5 semantic tags to positioning to the box model, all that good stuff. Uh, and then we'll also be building projects, which I'm going to show you some in a second. And everything we build will be completely responsive. It's 2019. Every, everything that you build in the browser should look decent on all sizes, on, on smartphones, widescreens, everything. All right. So after the basics, we go into Flexbox, we go into the grid. We'll talk a little bit about animation, stuff like that, pseudo selectors, CSS variables and so on. And we're also going to do two deployments. So one is going to be to a shared web hosting account. I'll show you how to set up email, how to set up FTP and so on. And then we're also going to deploy to Netlify, which is a fantastic platform. And we're going to learn a little bit about Git because we need to push to GitHub and then we can simply um, deployed to Netlify in literally seconds. And we'll also be linking up a form so that we can have form submission on our website and then a custom domain name. All right, so let's take a look at some of the projects. So the first one is this Hotel BT website, and this is going to be using just CSS basics, not even no flex, no grid or anything like that. Um, all the alignment will just be floats, which is not the ideal way to do things. But I think it's really important to start from scratch and learn that stuff before we get into flex and the grid and so on. All right. So we'll be using font awesome for the icons here. And basically, we just have an about page with some testimonials. Uh, we'll be dealing with positioning and floats and all that stuff. Contact form. So pretty simple and it is responsive, which I'm going to show you in a second. We have this edge ledger project, which is like a, a single page website for an accounting firm or financial team, something like that. And we will be implementing a little bit of JavaScript for the smooth scrolling as well as the Google map. Um, and this uses Flexbox. So everything is aligned with Flex and we will be creating an image overlay. We're going to do that quite a bit, uh, quite, quite a few projects, adding an overlay so that the text is readable over an image, centering everything with Flexbox. Then we have our CSS grid project, news grid. And you can see down here we have our news stories or articles in a grid. We're spanning across columns, our footer we're using the grid system for. This has an about page. Uh, about page. It also has a single article page. So if we click on one of these, whoops, if we click on one of these, it takes us to the single article. All right. So next we have the hamburger menu overlay project. So up here you can see we have this little hamburger menu and this is pure CSS. Okay. So we're not using any JavaScript here, which is really cool. And this is actually a checkbox. So we're going to take a checkbox and turn it into this. Okay. And as you can see, there's some animation. The lines turn into an X here little animation on hover and then we get this overlay with the different links. Okay, so we'll be using transform and scale and all that stuff. Next, we have the timeline knowledge timeline and we're using a bit of JavaScript here to bring the the boxes in from the side. Also, as we scroll as they enter into the viewport, you'll see that they kind of just come in from the side, which is pretty cool. All right. Then we have a presentation website, which is kind of like a PowerPoint type site. You could use this in like a conference. You could add graphics and charts and basically just go to the next page. Okay, so each page is a different color and these are it's actually just one HTML page. We're just going to make it seem like it's more than one. Okay, and we'll do like a simple drop down project here, create some drop downs, form styling. So these are the types of projects that are in this course. And just to show you that everything is responsive, I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller. 
and you can see that the, everything is stacked nicely. We have our edge ledger project. Okay, the men, sticky menu. Everything looks good. We have our grid system project here. So you'll learn how to make your grids responsive. This is obviously responsive by default. Uh, and then we have the timeline where we're going to move everything to the right on smaller screens. Okay, presentation site, even this, even these drop downs, you can see we made responsive. So everything is completely um, responsive and adaptable to different screen sizes. And in addition to the 17 hours, I do have at least two more sections I'll be adding that have to do with SAS. Okay, so we'll basically have an introduction to how SAS works, the syntax, and then I actually have a project already created that I just have to record. So that should be added within about a month or so. All right, so that's it guys. Hopefully this sparks your interest, whether you're you know just getting into web development or you're you know a senior level developer that wants to brush up on your UI skills, your HTML, CSS, and so on. All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the course.